What's up guys, Tom here with Bogies and Birdies Golf and today I'll be bringing you a little bit of an update video. Sorry about the lack of videos I've been putting up, I've been really busy. I got a few really good ones coming out to you here soon. We've got a par 3 course video I think and uh, a final hole showdown between me and Drew. That one was pretty good. Uh, so, you know, I've been pretty busy. I have golf tournaments. Every day I don't have a golf tournament, I have to work. And after that, you know, I go golfing until maybe 9, 10 o'clock at night, until it gets dark, actually. Um, so, I've been pretty busy. Haven't had a lot of time to make videos. Uh, I'm sorry about that. And I'll try and get back on top of it here really soon. So, you know, just to start off, I'd like to talk about uh, some of the tournaments I've been in and where I've, you know, finished in these tournaments. Uh, I guess to start, I played at the uh, Catawba Island Club in Port Clinton, Ohio. Shot an 84. And that was 13th place. Uh, pretty solid start for you know the first term of the year. Not you know too overly excited at 84, but you know not disappointed with it either. I played pretty bad there last year when I played. That was the first time I ever played there. So you know this time I had a little bit of a uh, you know second look at it, knew how to play some of the holes, and improved a lot. So that was a pretty good day, uh, golfing wise. Next place I played at was, you know, the next day after that, played Eagle Creek in Norwalk, Ohio. Shot an 89 there, and that was tied for 15th. That was a pretty brutal day. That was the first day of the U.S. Open, actually. Uh, but here at Norwalk, I don't, I don't live in Norwalk, but in Norwalk it rained, and it was windy that day, and they had us playing at the farthest back tees, so it, it was a pretty brutal day. It was, it was not easy at all. Um, we had a kid who shot 76 the previous day at uh, Catawba Island Club. Ended up shooting like an 87 there uh, at Eagle Creek. So, you know, it was not playing easy. A uh, couple days after that, I played Thunderbird Hills North in Huron, Ohio. Shot 81 there, and that was good enough for tied for 8th. I played very, very well there. Uh, in the last hole, I kind of uh, made a mess. Uh, I just needed to par to shoot a 78, and... Uh, I lost my drive way right into a creek and, you know, had to drop from there and then hit a few other bad shots after that. Take a triple on the last hole to shoot 81. But, you know, I'm not too happy about that. But, you know, stuff like that happens. So, you know, it's, it's golf. I'm human. It's going to happen. A few days after that, played Fremont Country Club in Fremont, Ohio. Shot an 84 there. And that was sixth place, you know, so best finish of the year. I'm sort of improving as I go, which is which is good. You know, keep going that way, and I'll I'll win one here soon. But so, out of the standing so far for play of the year, I'm tied for ninth out of 42, which I'm I'm pretty happy with. Um, I'm in the, inside that top 10, looking to maybe crack the top five by the end of the year. Pretty happy with that. This past week, I was at 360 Golf Academy. Uh, that was, you know, I can't put on by my uh, my swing instructor and a former teammate of mine at my school so this was held at Mohawk Golf Club in Tiffin Ohio uh, it's a very nice course very nice facility it was a really cool camp uh, we showed up at the door me and no me and Noah there was 10 of us total Noah from this channel also well went so we showed up at the door and they start handing us stuff we get you know two sleeves of Pro V's right off the bat they're actually pretty cool you know they're the, the 2013 Pro V's I believe yeah, I don't know if this the camera's gonna focus on this or not. Has 360 Golf Academy, you know, on the side of that. They're personalized balls, pretty cool. Thought that was pretty neat. Um, so we got that. You, we got a Callaway uh, scorecard holder, which I don't have on me right now. Um, we got you know a bag tag with 360 Golf Academy on it with my name on it, with a uh, picture of Mohawk Golf Club on the back. So that was pretty cool. We got um, a notebook here to write down some notes of whatever you thought was important. Mine is filled with course notes for something that happened later on. I'll get into that a little bit later in the video. We got two alignment sticks. have 360 Golf Academy on them. That was pretty cool. I used those quite a bit. Also got a, uh, a white towel like this. You wet down one side of it, you know, whenever you, sh whenever you hit a shot, your club gets dirty, obviously. So you wipe it down. You can see I've used it quite a bit. We also got to go into the pro shop and choose whatever hat we wanted. So I chose this one right here, this Titleist white one. 
because, you know, I love Titleist clubs. I use the Pro V1 almost exclusively. And, uh, you know, but that's about it. And so, you know, that that week, you know, we learned stuff like the first uh, the first two days. The third day was, you know, we, we learned some other stuff too. But the first two days we actually got our swing looked at by a PGA professional, which was pretty cool. You know, point out some swing flaws. I know I've got some stuff to work on. Um, then on the third day, we had some skills challenges. Uh, there was a, a chipping challenge, uh, a putting challenge, a bunker challenge, and a, an approach shot challenge. Um, I came in, I tied for first in the chipping challenge with four other people. Uh, came in second in the approach shot challenge. I won the bunker challenge, and I won the, uh, the putting challenge. So I won a sleeve of Pro V's for each of those I was in first for. So I ended up with a whopping stack of six sleeves of Pro V's, which, you know, I'm pretty happy about. That pays for almost half of the the camp fees anyway in, in just balls. So, you know, that's that was pretty cool. Then Thursday and Friday, they had a 36-hole tournament. Uh, the first day, we played from only from 100 yards in, so it made it fair for everyone. I played with two kids that I'd like to uh, give a shout-out to. Uh, first one is Andrew Branson. He's 12 years old. He caddies there at Mohawk Golf Club. He's a you know a great kid. He, uh, you know, at only 12 years old, he he's only been playing the game for two years. But man, he's uh, you could tell that if he puts his mind to it, he could he could be really good at this sport. Uh, second kid is Ethan Longoria. He's only 11, so you know I had to play with some younger kids, which you know I don't mind. And uh, he's only 11, and you know you better watch out for this kid. He's shooting 50s or lower. At age 11, I mean that's pretty impressive at a very nice course. So, you know he's he was playing pretty good. I was well since we were playing from 100 yards in. I I kind of went off that day. I hit 16 of 18 greens. Didn't putt very well. I had 35 putts, but uh, the first nine I shot a 31, I think, which is four over because we're playing them all as par threes. So I wasn't very happy about that. Uh, but on the back, I ended up shooting a 26, one under on the back. So, you know, I kind of picked it up on the back, which I'm, I'm pretty happy about. And so the second day, well, actually after the first day, I was up by 12 over, uh, Noah was in second. He shot a 69. Um, so the second day, you know, I had a 12 stroke lead going in there. I didn't really have to do anything special, but I still want to play my very best just in case something bad, something, you know, weird happened. Um. I ended up shooting 84 that day, went 43-41, which is kind of odd. I shot better on the back both days because the back is brutal. Uh, if you guys have never heard of Mohawk Golf Club, it's actually designed by Donald Ross, the same guy who designed Pinehurst number two for the U.S. Open this year. So, you know, it's a difficult layout. Pretty tough course, very fast greens. Uh, the back was really hilly. It was pretty challenging. The front was kind of, you know, you hit it straight and you're pretty much good to go. But... I really thought the front was going to be my strong suit, but it ended up being the back, surprisingly. But, so, you know, after after all that was said and done, we had a banquet, you know, we had food, you gave out awards, that kind of stuff. Got to talk with uh, a golf coach, a college golf coach, about, you know, the recruitment process. It was pretty cool. Um, had different awards for the tournament, you know. You have, you know, least amount of putts, most fairways hit, and then first and second, obviously. Um, Turns out I was a uh, putting champion, you know, right here I got this plaque, pretty cool, pretty nice plaque, uh, 36 total putts, not too bad, wasn't my greatest putting performance, but not terrible. Uh, Noah and Andrew Branson, like I said earlier in the video, were tied for second, so they had to go to a sudden death playoff at the, uh, during, at the end of the day. I think Noah ended up winning that by two, two strokes or something I didn't get to watch. Um, so congratulations to him on getting second. Uh, so as you guys probably already figured out, I won this bad boy right here. You know, first place, pretty sweet trophy, I thought. Pretty big. You know, 360 Golf Academy champion 2014. Uh, I was pretty happy about that. Camp was a great experience. I loved it. You know, I learned some stuff, uh, met some good people. So, you know, that was pretty cool. Uh, and maybe a few days before that camp, I went out with a round for a round with Drew at our local course. Uh, it's only a nine-hole course. It's not very nice. 
but you know whatever you know get the quick quick 9 or 18 in I told him I didn't want to you know warm up or anything no chips no putts uh, so I, I don't know if that was a bad thing or a really good thing uh, maybe I should start doing it more often because uh, you know I bogeyed the first hole thought it was gonna be like any other round uh, part of the next three and then you know birdied four of the last five holes to shoot three under 33 on the front and then you know went even par on the the second nine for a 60 a three under par 69 uh, my first round ever in the 60s my best round ever my best round before that was 75 so I don't know where this came from but you know only 25 putts I was dropping 30 footers it was pretty crazy uh, definitely the best round of my life so far hopefully I improve on that um, so yeah I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update of what's been going on how uh, how my life's been going why I haven't been uploading videos for all five subscribers but you know whatever uh, trying to keep you guys a little updated here uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more like it give don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up if you guys want to see a certain video of like how to slice, uh, correct a slice or how to correct a hook that kind of thing or how to draw the golf ball any anything to do with golf uh, I'll explain it I'll make a video for it uh, just leave a comment down below or message me on YouTube uh, just to get a hold of me so yeah you can do that uh, if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and thanks so much for watching see you next time